Dear Blues Friends, my name is Rick and I'd like to welcome you to this little ukulele blues workshop part 2. You should watch part 1 of this workshop to learn more about accompanying a blues. There you will learn something about the structure of the blues, the blues chord progression, strumming patterns, chord patterns, turnarounds and so on. Now in this second part of the blues workshop I like to focus on solo playing. And I like to introduce a very simple method to play solos on your ukulele. Therefore, I call it the quick start solo. Because all you need to know is that you may only play on the A string. So we will play a blues in the key of A. And we only use the A string. Now, this ukulele is tuned G, C, E, A. And we may play the A string open or on all the frets which have a dot. Usually, ukuleles have dots in the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th and 12th fret. Sometimes you have even more dots on the 15th and 17th fret. However, these are the same notes, just one octave higher. We have five different notes. The open A string, then on the 3rd, 5th, 7th and 10th fret. And these five notes are called minor pentatonic. The minor pentatonic is the base of playing blues, of blues improvisation. Actually, you can play any of these notes any time during the blues chord progression. And it doesn't matter if you are on the A chord or on the D chord, on the E chord, wherever you are, none of these five notes ever sounds wrong. However, to make it a good blues song, you need something like a theme or a melody. And I will demonstrate that. I will play this theme. And later on I will play some variations. For example, when I go up from the A chord to the D chord, I don't play anymore. But instead I play. Almost the same, but a little bit different. Then, in between, to bridge from one solo part to the next, you can play some solo riffs or uh, fill-ins, something like this. What I would like to do now is I will start to play the blues, the chords, the accompanying chords for that blues, what we have learned in our uh, first part of this workshop. And then the second blues chord progression, I will add a little solo based on these five notes. This is what we already have learned to accompany a blues song by using the blues chord progression. Now I like to show how everybody can play a blues solo without much knowledge and without much practicing. Listen to it and enjoy it. I will explain it in a second. much more to learn about the blues. And I'd like to recommend my new DVD about the blues. It's a 92 minutes video and the first 40 minutes focus on accompanying the blues. Uh, this is about uh, chord patterns, strumming patterns and you will learn much more chord patterns than we have seen in this uh, short online workshop. You will learn something about picking patterns, more turnarounds, a lot of stuff uh, about 40 minutes and another 40 minutes we talk about solo playing and uh, in this solo part we will convert our quick start solo to 
solo patterns to be independent of the key we are playing in. And we will also talk about the major pentatonic, which can be used for other musical styles, for example for Hawaiian music. And we will talk about the blues scale. All of this will come with a lot of examples, with exercises, and you will see a lot of background pictures uh, to uh, explain what I'm doing on the fretboard. And the last uh, about 10 minutes of this video I will play together with my special guest James Hill. And that was uh, very exciting. James gave a lot of uh, tips and tricks how to play the blues and uh, we also played a song together and I'd like to show you a short part to finish this video and uh, I say goodbye. Thank you for watching and uh, see you the next time. Is that there's a there are two parts to a solo, I think. There's the first few seconds, and then there's the rest of the solo. And the first few seconds are very special because you're really just sort of experimenting. You're really improvising, just putting your fingers down in different places in these patterns and trying to play rhythms and, and trying to hear certain uh, melodies that come out. And, and in those first few seconds, you listen very closely and then you grab onto an idea. And then for the rest of the solo, you work with that idea. So that's the way I, I tend to, to structure what I'm doing. But that sounds a little bit like you're allowed to make a few mistakes during the first uh, few uh, measures, or...? Well, there aren't really any mistakes to be made. I mean, like Miles Davis said, there are, there are no wrong notes. Right. Uh, he said something like, if you play a wrong note, play it again to establish it, or something like that. That's right, and, and it'll sound like you meant it the first time. Okay. Right. <laughs> so those first few seconds are very important, and then it's what you do with that theme. And once that theme or that idea is exhausted, once it's it's like wood, and you burn it up, and once it's burned up, you're finished. And that's a nice way to know that you're done, when you've done all you can do with that little theme. So I'm wondering now how we will stop this goose, which we haven't even started yet. <laughs> that's right. We never played together, so it will be very exciting for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try.